Kurt Georg Kiesinger, the 6th of April 1904, the 9th of March 1988, was a German politician who served as Chancellor of Germany from the 1st of December 1966 to the 21st of October 1969. Before he became Chancellor, he was a Nazi Party member, served as Minister President of Baden-Württemberg from 1958 to 1966, and as President of the Federal Council from 1962 to 1963. He was chairman of the Christian Democratic Union from 1967 to 1971. Kiesinger gained his certificate as a lawyer the 1st of March 1933 and worked as a lawyer in Berlin's Kammergericht Court from 1935 to 1940. To avoid conscription, he found work at the Foreign Office in 1940, and became deputy head of the Foreign Office's Broadcasting Department. During his service at the Foreign Office, he was denounced by two colleagues for his anti-Nazi stance. He had nevertheless joined the Nazi party in 1933, but remained a largely inactive member. In 1946 he became a member of the Christian Democratic Union. He was elected to the Bundestag in 1949, and was a member of the Bundestag until 1958, and again from 1969 to 1980. He left federal politics for eight years to serve as minister-president of Baden-Württemberg, and subsequently became chancellor by forming a grand coalition with Willy Brandt's Social Democratic Party. Kiesinger was considered an outstanding orator and mediator, and was dubbed Silver Tongue. He was an author of poetry and various books, and founded the universities of Konstanz and Ulm as minister-president of Baden-Württemberg. Chapter 1 early life and Nazi activities. Born in Ebbingen, Kingdom of Württemberg, Kiesinger studied law in Berlin and worked as a lawyer in Berlin from 1935 to 1940. As a student, he joined the Roman Catholic Corporations K. St. V. Alemannia Tübingen, and Ascania Burgundia Berlin. He became a member of the Nazi Party in February 1933, but remained a largely inactive member. In 1940, he was called to arms but avoided mobilization by finding a job in the Foreign Office's Broadcasting Department, rising quickly to become deputy head of the department from 1943 to 1945 and the department's liaison with the Propaganda Ministry. He worked under Joachim von Ribbentrop, who had been condemned to death at Nuremberg. After the war, he was interned by the Americans for his connection to Ribbentrop and spent 18 months in the Ludwigsburg camp before being released as a case of mistaken identity. Franco German journalist Beata Klasfeld demonstrated his close connections to Ribbentrop and Joseph Goebbels, the head of Nazi Germany's propaganda ministry. She also asserted that Kiesinger had been chiefly responsible for the contents of German international broadcasts, which included anti Semitic and war propaganda and had collaborated closely with SS functionaries Gerhard Ruhl, and Franz Alfred VI. The latter was responsible for mass murders in Nazi-occupied Eastern Europe and was tried as a war criminal in the Einsatzgruppen trial at Nuremberg. Even after becoming aware of the extermination of the Jews, Kiesinger had continued to produce anti-Semitic propaganda. These allegations were based in part on documents that Albert Norden published about the culprits of war and Nazi crimes. During the controversies of 1966, the magazine Der Spiegel unearthed a memorandum dated 7 November 1944 in which two colleagues denounced to SS chief Heinrich Himmler a conspiracy including Kiesinger that was allegedly propagating defeatism. They accused Kiesinger specifically of hampering anti Jewish actions within his department. Chapter 2 Early Political Career Kiesinger joined the Christian Democratic Union in 1946. From 1946 he gave private lessons to law students, and in 1948 he resumed his practice as a lawyer. In 1947 he also became unpaid Secretary General of CDU in Württemberg Hohenzollern. In the federal election in 1949 he was elected to the Bundestag. In 1951 he became a member of the CDU Executive Board. During that time, he became known for his rhetorical brilliance, as well as his in-depth knowledge of foreign affairs. However, despite the recognition he enjoyed within the Christian Democrat parliamentary faction, he was passed over during various cabinet reshuffles. 
Consequently, he decided to switch from federal to state politics. Chapter 3, Minister-President of Baden-Württemberg Kiesinger became Minister-President of the State of Baden-Württemberg on 17 December 1958, an office in which he served until 1 December 1966. As Minister-President he founded two universities, the University of Konstanz and the University of Ulm. Chapter 4, Chancellorship in 1966 following the collapse of the existing CDU-CSU-FDP coalition, Kiesinger was elected to replace Ludwig Erhard as Chancellor, heading a new CDU-CSU-SPD alliance. The government formed by Kiesinger remained in power for nearly three years with the SPD leader Willy Brandt as Vice-Chancellor and Foreign Minister. Kiesinger reduced tensions with the Soviet bloc nations establishing diplomatic relations with Czechoslovakia, Romania and Yugoslavia, but he opposed any major conciliatory moves. A number of progressive reforms were also realized during Kiesinger's time as Chancellor. Pension coverage was extended in 1967 via the abolition of the income ceiling for compulsory membership. In education, student grants were introduced, together with a university building program while a constitutional reform of 1969 empowered the federal government to be involved with the lender in educational planning through Joint Planning Commission. Vocational training legislation was also introduced, while a reorganization of unemployment insurance promoted retraining schemes, counseling and advice services and job creation places. In addition, under the Lohnfurt of 1969, Employers had to pay all employees' wages for the first six weeks of sickness. In August 1969, the Lander Geberenti was introduced. The historian Tony Jutt has observed that Kiesinger's chancellorship, like the presidency of Heinrich Lubke, showed the a glaring contradiction in the Bonn Republic's self image in view of their previous Nazi allegiances. One of his low points as chancellor was in 1968 when Nazi hunter Beata Klasfeld who campaigned with her husband Serge Klasfeld against Nazi criminals, publicly slapped him in the face during the 1968 Christian Democrat Convention, while calling him a Nazi. She did so in French and, whilst being dragged out of the room by two ushers, repeated her words in German saying Kiesinger. Nazi. Abtreten. Kiesinger, holding his left cheek, did not respond. Up to his death he refused to comment on the incident and in other opportunities he denied explicitly that he had been opportunistic by joining the NSDOP in 1933. Other prominent critics included the writers Heinrich Bohl and Gunter Grass. Chapter 5, Later Years After the election of 1969, the SPD preferred to form a coalition with the FDP, ending the uninterrupted post-war reign of the CDU chancellors. Kiesinger was succeeded as Chancellor by Willy Brandt. Kiesinger continued to head the CDU-CSU in opposition until July 1971 and remained a member of the Bundestag until 1980. Of his memoirs only part one was completed, covering the years up to 1958. He died in Tübingen on 9 March 1988, four weeks before his 84th birthday. After a requiem mass in Stuttgart's St. Eberhard Church, his funeral procession was followed by protesters who wanted his former membership in the Nazi party remembered. Chapter 6, Kiesinger's Cabinet The 1st of December 1966, the 21st of October 1969 Kurt Georg, Kiesinger, Chancellor Willy Brandt, Vice-Chancellor and Minister of Foreign Affairs Gerhard Schroeder, Minister of Defense. Paul Lucker, Minister of the Interior. Franz Joseph Strauss, Minister of Finance. Gustav Heinemann, Minister of Justice. Karl Schiller, Minister of Economics. Hans Katzer, Minister of Labor and Social Affairs. Hermann Hockel, Minister of Food, Agriculture, and Forestry. Georg Lieber, Minister of Transport. Lauritz Lauritzen, Minister of Construction. Bruno Heck, Minister of Family and Youth. Kate Strobel, Minister of Health. 
Gerhard Stoltenberg, Minister of Scientific Research. Hans-Jürgen Wisniewski, Minister of Economic Cooperation. Werner Darlinger, Minister of Posts and Communications. Kaiu von Hassel, Minister of Displaced Persons, Refugees and War Victims. Herbert Wenner, Minister of All German Affairs. Carlo Schmidt, Minister of Bundesrat and State Affairs. Kurt Schmucker, Minister of Federal Treasure. Changes. The 2nd of April 1968, Ernst Bender succeeds Lucas as Minister of the Interior. The 16th of October 1968, Enna Brautsiup succeeds Heck as Minister of Family and Youth. Erhard Epler succeeds Wisniewski as Minister of Economic Cooperation. The 7th of February 1969, Heinrich Windelen succeeds von Hassel as Minister of Displaced Persons, Refugees, and war victims after the latter was elected to president of the Bundestag. The 26th of March 1969, Horst Emke succeeds Heinemann as Minister of Justice after the latter was elected to fifth president of Germany.